Hi guys, as we all know that Virtus Neural Hack is coming up, so I thought of sharing my experience. In this video, we'll be talking about the complete process of Virtus, including the round one, round two, and the hackathon. I'll also share how I won the Virtus hackathon. Previous year, it was a combination of neural hack and business cipher, right? And after that, we'll talk about the replacement offer that you can get and how exactly do you get it. So first thing is first, I have given the registration link in the description box below. If you are viewing this video before 31st August, please go and uh, register yourself before watching this video. Okay, it's just a simple Google Docs form and you can just apply by that. Uh, once you're done with that, let's view the timeline. So from 30th August to 1st September, you'll have your stage one assessment. After that, on the 3rd September, you your stage one result will be announced. Okay, and on the 8th September, you have your stage one assessment and on the 9th of September, your stage two result will be announced after which your hackathon will begin. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about the stage one. In stage one, you'll encounter four problems. I'm strictly speaking from my previous year experience. Okay. In stage one, you'll encounter four problems and they are not on any typical topic. They are not from graph or trees. They're simply problem solving. Okay. However, keep one thing in mind, if you want to qualify, if you want to, you know, go to the stage two, you need to solve all four of them. That is really, really important. If you only solve like maybe two or three questions, then your chance will decrease rapidly. Reason being the questions are not that difficult. They are very easy as long as you can just find out some sort of approach. They are not concerned with your uh, you know your time limit exceeding or your memory limit exceeding they are not they, they in the in the first round they don't have any uh, high constraints the questions are easy they will have a few corner cases but as long as you're able to come up with a decent approach you will qualify okay now let's talk about the stage two okay so in stage two you'll encounter i think three questions all the questions that i got was somehow based on dynamic programming the questions were not very tough, but since they were from dynamic programming, they were not very easy. Also, let, let me just give you a certain level. They, uh, the, the question, I think one of the questions that I got was the egg dropping puzzle. Okay. It's a very popular DP question. You can look it up in GFG also. Okay. That was, the, let's say the average level of a question that you might get in the stage two and in stage two, I had to solve all the three questions for getting qualified for the hackathon. But I think people who solve two questions and third partially, they also stood a chance. Okay. So after that, you will get a call for hackathon. So in the hackathon round, this year, I think it's only neural hack, but last it was neural hack plus business cipher. What we meant by business cipher was with the model that we present, we also had to come up with a business plan. I think last year they had three streams. One was Python based, one was Java based and one was UI based. I think the language was JavaScript. Okay. So our team consisted of five members. One was from business school, three people opted for Python and one was from UI. So the reason there were three was because we were supposed to create a fraud detection model. That was the topic that we got and three members, the Python based, they were actually supposed to come up with a model one with the highest accuracy okay and the ui guy he was responsible for presenting that particular model with you know uh, with a great ui with a great ux so that is also very important you actually you actually get judged on various various topics if you have you know questions on that you can just ask me in the comment section you get judged on various parts and you also get a mentor who guides you all the uh, you know throughout the your complete process of hackathon the, the hackathon process is pretty long i think it's almost about a month so you have your meeting every uh, week where you can ask your question to the mentor and at the end all the teams are supposed to present their model and whichever team whichever team comes up with the best model with the best ui and with the best presentation they get the price the winner i think got 50000 the uh, runner first runner got 20000 and the third runner got 10000 
so that is the price categorization you get okay now there is something that i loved liked about what you saw a lot is that they give you a lot of goodies they get you uh, if you just qualify first uh, from stage two you reach to hackathon you get goodies if you win if you if you win you know your hackathon you still you again get goodies you get your static show cards you get various other accessories right so that is one part that i really liked, liked about hackathon who doesn't like goodies and now about the pre-placement offer so they they will say that the winning team the all the member from winning team might not get a ppo offer but that's not true every person from the winning team does get a ppo offer the i think the offer the, the average offer that we got was of 7 lakhs right and from the runner ups also every person gets the ppo offer so in total 15 people will definitely get a ppo offer other than that every team will have a mvp and that person will be identified by the mentor okay the one who will be guiding you and that person will also get a ppo so even if your team is not win team does not win you still stand a chance of getting the pre placement offer so if you are a final year student from the be btech mca with a cs it ec or is branch and you have maintained a 60 percent throughout the academics from 10th till this year you are allowed to set in virtues and trust me it's not a bad offer to have just go on gain experience and you'll definitely learn a lot this uh, you know they are the exam the the way they conduct exam is pretty different from other because they include a hackathon and all at first you might get intimidated by hackathon but trust me there is nothing to be afraid of if you ever get stuck anywhere the mentor will help you right and forget about the mentor if you ever get doubt about the hackathon just feel free to ask me in the comment section i'll try to reply based okay so that's all thank you for watching guys